Yamaha. Uy, may langaw. Yamaha. Yamaha. I can give you 10 reasons why the XSR 155 is your best daily bike, but you're gonna only need 7 to make it happen. Let's do this. Spider Philippines for always making a beautiful helmet but also comes with affordability. And check it out. Alright, Spider, my second helmet from you. Naman. So first thing you're gonna consider when you're buying a daily bike is of course the riding comfortability. I'll be straight up honest, it is not the most comfortable motorbike in its category but it is one of the most comfortable motorbike if you're excluding the 155cc scooter and underbone of Yamaha. And if you're going to compare it with the MT15, WR155R, and the Yamaha R15M, this one has the widest seat for both rider and back rider. The handlebar is not sumo, naked, or sporty. It's quite in between. So the sitting position will be comfortable as it gets, my dear friends. It is one of the lightest, 134 kilograms. You're definitely gonna mistake in this one as a 400cc big bike. But another thing why I prefer to daily this bike, it's all because whenever it rains, whenever there's mud, whenever I go off-road, the motorcycle still looks beautiful. And one thing I didn't know before buying this motorbike, is its riding capability. My dear friends, this is a scrambler. I did not realize that this motorcycle can go in almost any Philippine road condition. And when you talk about Philippine road condition, there's always the lubak, there's always the off-road, the back road, the muddy, the one with rain, and also yung roads na tipong inaayos every time na electric. Trust me, with its dual sport tire, this is an all-around bike. You actually get the best of both worlds with this motorcycle. And one thing I like about this bike is it can not off-road. This motorcycle right here will make you feel confident on almost every road, even if you are a beginner. And one reason that is really a big factor why this is your best daily bike is it's fun for beginners. When I said that it's fun for beginners, it's not going to be that fun for those who want to ride stupid fast. The sound of the engine is fun, especially when the VVA light is on. And if learning all around is your thing, then this might be your best option for beginner bike. And if you're having fun doing some top speed under the speed limit, and if you're happy learning doing some curves, then definitely you bought the correct daily bike. This might not be the most important thing to some, but when you say Yamaha, it's expensive, but it works. 
and reliability matters to most, especially for those who daily like me. The notion in the Philippines that the XSR is not bang for your buck, try pushing the limit of your bike. Try taking it off-road and try reaching high miles with it with high elevation area. If it's useful to your needs, then you shouldn't be complaining for the money you paid for it. When I first bought this motorcycle, it was around 4,000 kilometers. Now I'm reaching almost 10,000 kilometers in just less than six months. I think that's average enough. And if you're dailying this bike, if you can rely on the engine, definitely you can rely on the motorcycle itself. Sixth reason is really important, not just to those who daily, but to also those who live in a third world country. This is not just for XSR, but I think it applies to all Yamaha 150 cc's out there. They really have great fuel economy. This bike has 10 liter gas tank with more than 500 kilometer range. They're saying the 155 scooters coming from Yamaha doesn't do that much, but I think they can reach up to 45 km per liter with proper riding. I was already happy when I reached 49 km per liter, but when I started reaching 51 to 52 km per liter, I said, damn. Not just that it has a range, but you could actually use it in one ride. In short, it has a long ride capability. I haven't tried riding it 500 km non-stop, but I've reached more than I could expect with this bike. It doesn't overheat, it's not hot on your legs when you're on a stoplight that has more than one minute in it. And trust me, if you stay longer, more than one minute on a traffic, then what's the reason you choose to ride a bike for? If you are reaching 1,500 kilometers in less than 14 days and you are working five straight days a week, then this is a great daily bike, not just for short rides. And if you're doing the same exact distance daily, this bike should be comfortable fun and economical when i said daily definitely you you're gonna need your body to be fresh and in a good riding condition the next day so if you are a sad boy my dear friend you need to take a pit stop stop at least for a while enjoy the view i just don't want to be emotional most of the time when i'm riding my motorcycle this is the best advice you'll get from a daily rider like me <laughs> and massive shout out ulit kay Ito yung nagtabi ng ano, Transformers ko sir no? Yes sir Anong pangalan mo sir? Den Bernil sir Ayan si sir Den Bernil Ayan si sir Juan Bernil Ayan si ma'am Ayra yung no. supervisor natin na mahiyain <laughs> Shout out kay ma'am Ayra Thank you for this <laughs> Thank one Thank you po Salina natin Like it?